Brooke, I have been waiting to call you my wife for a long time. I know you're going to be beautiful today. I have known you were going to be my wife for a long time, but today it's real. I know today will really fly by, and that's a good sign that it's a great time. But I know we need to remember to take in the day and hold on to the memories forever. I love you so much. This is the easiest decision I've ever made. Dear John, our day is finally here. It's almost unbelievable. We've been looking forward to this day for so long. There's definitely been some stressful moments during the planning, but you've always supported me and kept me calm during the tough times. This crazy ride through life together has been so much fun this far, but it's only just beginning. Today we take a big step by declaring our love and commitment to each other before God and all our family and friends. I am so excited for this next chapter together and can't wait to call you my husband. I love you so much and I'm so blessed that God brought us together. I'll see you in a little bit. I'll be the one in the white dress. Love your soon to be wife. John came into our lives in the fall of 2014 and he immediately became a part of the family. It may have been because he moved into Brooke's room while she was at school, but <laughs> from then on he was the brother we never had. He fit right into the family and even started coming on family vacations with us. So this brings me to December 28th, 2016 on our trip to Florida. We just got back from dinner and we're planning on heading down to the beach to take some pictures. Bree and I were very anxious to get down to the beach and we're apparently rushing Brooke to get ready. This was when John piped up and said, well, let her get ready. <laughs> so we finally made our way down to the beach after Brooke finished her makeup and we began pictures. And then Bree and I finished our pictures. So we're like, hey, this is the start of our vacation. We were just goofing off around by the beach. And then this is when we heard my mother yell, will you guys pay attention? <laughs> so we turn around. We're like, okay, what's the big fuss? And we see John down on one knee proposing to Brooke. <laughs> and my immediate reaction is like, oh, dang. <laughs> Separately, you two are special and remarkable people but together you are complete. You sit side by side through this roller coaster of life. Remember to scream through the peaks, hold hands through the dips, laugh through the loops, and enjoy every twist and turn. For the ride is much better when you share it together. My greatest wishes for Brooke and John as they begin their life together. Please raise our glasses to Brooke and John. May the happiness you have tonight only be the start of a wonderful life ahead. Cheers. So for the next 45 minutes, I'm gonna take you on a tantalizing trip through the life of John and Brooke. Before I start making fun of John for a while, um, I, I need their participation for a second. So uh, Brooke, if you could put your hand on the table. John, if you could put your hand on Brooke's. John, you're one of my best friends and I want to welcome you to the family. And I also want to congratulate you on the last time you're going to have the upper hand in this marriage. So, <laughs> welcome. But I think it would be better to tell the story about the time that John met my wife for the first time. John and I, uh, and my wife, Abby, who's sitting up here, um, we were celebrating New Year's Eve and we were having a very, very good time. And uh, it was the middle of winter, obviously. And uh, in Wisconsin, for those of you not from the area, uh, winters in Wisconsin get very, very cold. Um, Abby and I went to bed uh, earlier than the rest of the group. And uh, I woke up to Abby saying, Adam, there's somebody in the bed with us. <laughs> and uh, I look over and, uh, and there's John. And I said, John, what the hell are you doing? And he goes, it's, it's so cold in here. It's so cold because it's a Wisconsin winter. So Brooke, I tell you that, you need to be prepared. You're probably gonna need to be the big spoon every now and then because John gets cold at night. So, that, that, and that's where we'll end that at. I 
John Holbach. I, John Holbach. In the presence of God in these witnesses. In the presence of God in these witnesses. Take you, Brooke Geiger, to be my wife. Take you, Brooke Geiger, to be my wife. And promise you my faithfulness. And promise you my faithfulness. In every way. In every way. Not to leave you. Not to leave you. Until parted by death. Until parted by death. I, Brooke Geiger. I, Brooke Geiger. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, John Halbeck, to be my husband. Take you, John Halbeck, to be my husband. And promise you my faithfulness. And promise you my faithfulness. In every way. In every way. Not to leave you. Not to leave you. Until parted by death. Until parted by death. We got a beautiful story. We got a beautiful story